Hello there. I'm going to teach you how to make a GIF that moves on Google Classroom. And it's a little bit different than the one I tried to learn on in YouTube and then had to really improvise quite a bit. So I'm going to show you how I did it, which is a little bit of a departure from the way other people did it uh, on YouTube. And I'm just going to give you this alternate way of doing it. So the first thing you need to do is open up slides. And you go to Google Slides and get a blank document. And you can title it anything you want. But here, the first thing you do is you highlight this entire thing and push delete. So you have a blank slide. The second thing that you do is you go to page setup. And instead of widescreen, you want to go to custom. And the custom for inches is 16.67 by 4.17. And that gives you the exact amount of pixels and the exact space you need in order to create this. Now you don't need themes, but this is now going to fit on your uh, Google Classroom banner. You do want to though insert an image and you're going to search the web. And the first thing you're going to do is put in is type in the word transparent because everything you are going to make now is going to be transparent. It doesn't need to be capitalized like I just did, but it does need to be transparent. And so I'm going to say transparent room. And so here's any number of rooms. And I'm just going to go to the room that I used um, for myself. And I liked the beach view of the room that um, I chose. And here it is. And I just drag it in here and choose. And you can just drag. And it comes up. And then you resize it. You make it nice and big and make sure it fills the whole space. OK, here's the whole space that it fills. And you got to go over here. So here's my room. Now, over here is where I want to kind of put a picture or something and maybe end up. But for this, I want it to be actually over on this side. So what I'm going to do is two finger click your right hand mouse button, and I'm going to rotate that and flip this whole picture horizontally. So now what it does is it makes me go from this area where all your Google Classroom materials and, you know, your names and all that is. And then you can scoot over here and have some stuff going on. Well, the first thing that I do, I'm just going to do a real quick one, is um, I have um, my Bitmoji. And you have to have the uh, Bitmoji on uh, your extensions for Chrome. And I am just going to, you know, this is me. I'm going to put myself in here. I'm starting to dance. And I'm in my room that I've made and I'm dancing. Okay. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, you know, um, starting to dance down here. Okay. So there is the first slide. And then what I do is I go up to this slide, number one and two finger click, and I duplicate the slide. So now I have an exact duplicate. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'll keep duplicating slides as I go. But now I've got a slide and I'm in exactly the same position, but now I'm going to make myself turn around and be in this position, maybe a little bit further away. So I take this, I make it a little bit smaller, make it smaller than the one I have. You see there's a little bit of a I'm going further in. So I've got this over here. And then I just take this guy and I delete him. And then I go back over to number two. I duplicate the slide and I want to be moving now. Now, um, let's say I want to continue the dance theme. I go into Bitmoji and I say dance. OK, and so I am going to slide across the floor maybe a couple times. OK, but here I'm going to put myself over here. I'm going to slide even further up. I'm going to make myself just even a little bit smaller for some depth perception that you can might be able to get and I'm sliding over here, but I don't want to slide that way. That's not really going to work. So what I'm going to do again is rotate. I'm going towards the right. So I'm going to flip this horizontally and I'm going that way. Okay. And now I go back and I delete that one. 
And now I'm going to go to the third slide that I have here. And again, I'm going to duplicate the slide so I know exactly where I was. I don't have to guess. And I'm going to slide some more. So I'm going to take this person. I'm going to slide maybe a little bit more over here as my next slide, you know, to have some, you know, continuity. And what I'm going to do is make them about the same size again for that depth perception. I can make them just a little bit further up. Okay. So he's right up against the wall. And again, I don't want to be facing that way. I want to be flipping horizontally. And you'll see why I'm doing this. And then I take my back, my one that I had before, and take it off. Now I take this slide and I duplicate it. And I'm only going to do about seven slides or so. And I'm going to stand up for this one. Okay. And so um, here I go. I'm going to stand up uh, here and kind of position myself right about there and make it so that I'm a little bit bigger because I'm coming towards the wall. Make it over here a bit. See how I'm a little bit bigger, that depth perception again. And then I go back to my other picture and delete that one. Go over to number five. And again, we're only going to do number, we're only going to do seven of these. But if I do them, you can do them with me. Okay. And then I go to Bitmoji. I'm going to put in dance one more time. See if I can get some other pictures. And I am going to. Oh, I don't, I'll dab. Okay. I'll dab right about here. And so I'm going to be dabbing, I'm dabbing, I'm closer. So I'll dab right about here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see that I'm actually further up. I've moved, take this guy and delete him. Now what I want to do, I'm going to delete, I'm not going to delete. I'm going to duplicate this slide. And now I'm going to insert an image again, and I'm going to make it a transparent couch. Okay. And push enter. And here is my transparent couch. Okay. I'm just going to choose this one. Okay. And so here's my transparent couch. I'm going to put this transparent couch up against the wall. Okay. And you can see that it's right up against the wall. Maybe I should put it yeah, right about here. Um, and I want to tilt it so that I continue with the depth perception. Okay. And then what I do is I take this guy off because I just had him. And now I'm going to have my couch there that just will magically appear. You could have the couch there the entire time if you wanted to. But I'm just going to have it magically appear. And then I'm going to uh, sit down. Okay, and I'm going to sit and I'm just going to drag this here so that I'll go from a dabbing to a sit. And that will be a little bit smaller, let's say. And I'm going to put myself there, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm up and there I'm sitting. All right. And so that's my last slide. Now I can put in, if I wanted to, um, I could now insert not an image, but a text box. I could take the text box and move it right here. Okay. And then in this text box, I could say, welcome to class. Okay. Um, or how about this? Welcome to the studio, the dance studio. Okay. And I, I don't really want that font. I'm going to probably just bold face it. You can make any font you want, but I am going to also um, probably put a little uh, picture here, maybe. So I'll put a little bit further down. I'm going to insert an image from the web and let's, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll make a transparent picture picture frame. Okay. And there's my picture frame. I'm just going to drag this in. It'll be transparent, which will be lovely. Um, 
I am going to move this over. Okay, kind of make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it up here and make it about right there, a little bit smaller and tilt it about the same as the studio. Welcome to the studio. Make it even smaller. There we go. And then what I'll do is just move this over. All right, and make sure that this person, I'm going to put in and order this. I'm gonna bring this person to the front. So you see the head now is in front of. <laughs> it's not really that great, but you get the picture, okay? Uh, uh, so to speak. So you take all of these, you take all of these slides over here on the uh, left side. Okay, and I'd start with the first one. And what I would do with the first one, this one, I would go to present. All right, and then I'm going to hit command shift four on my um, Mac. And I'm just going to choose this entire thing. Okay, and take that picture. And then I'm going to go to number two. I am going to present. I am going to hit Command Shift 4 again so that I can just choose this whole picture. And I'm going to do that for every single one of these. So you'll see it go a little bit faster or I'll just skip to the end. But I'm going to do that right now. Okay. So now I have hit Command Shift 4. I've taken a picture of every one of these. Now there's a reason for that, okay? Normally what you do is you go to add-ons and you go to Creator Studio and what have you. But unfortunately for me, Creator Studio would only let me get 500 pixels and I needed 1600 pixels. I don't know what happened there. So this is where I really diverge, okay? Um, what I do then is I go into my Finder, okay? Um, and make sure that all of those downloaded, and they did. Those are my recents. Those are all my screenshots, okay? And so that's a good thing. And I open up iMovie. So I go down to iMovie, and I create something new. All right, and I want to create a new movie. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to create, I'm ultimately going to create that GIF, but I have to create the movie first. So I'm going to import some media. And it's going to ask me, what do you want to import? And I'm going to do it from my um, desktop. And I want all of these shots that I did, that I just did. And they are these shots right here. So I choose them all and I drag them into um, or import selected. Okay. And then I uh, choose all of them. All right, and I want to make sure I get all of them. I drag all of those down. And then I go up to this crop right here, cropping, and I make sure that I hit fit. All right, so it all fits. And then what I do is I go to this eye, okay? And I go to duration, and I make that duration uh, 0.5. You know, you can make it one to make it smaller. Um, uh, but usually you, I'll make it, let's see if I can do this, 0 0.5, okay? And so it takes it, and what it does is it creates a movie, okay? And so what you can see here is basically a stop-action movie. So I'll just play it. I'm going across the floor, and there I am, okay? So it's a stop-action movie. You go, oh, that's great. That's wonderful. But now you have this, okay, and so, you know, you want to upload it as a file, and it's going to upload as a dot move, which is a, a movie, okay? And you don't want to call it my movie. I'm just going to call it test banner, okay? It's going to be in downloads. I like that, all right? And so now I can get out of this iMovie, all right, and I go into my Finder, and I go to Downloads, and there's my test banner. Okay, that's there. That's excellent. So now what I want to do is I want to convert. 
All right, so what I did was I went to how do you convert things? And you do it by Convertio. And Convertio is actually pretty good. Um, it's free um, and you can get a pro version or what have you. But here you just choose your file, okay? And my file is uh, this one, test banner. Double click it, okay? And you wanna do it to GIF and then you hit convert. All right, and it's gonna be uploading for a while, so I'll get back in one second. So depending upon the NOS slides that you have, um, your uh, GIF will take anywhere from two to five minutes to get converted. Now, what I do wanna point out to you though, is that uh, there is an extension for Convertio, and I have uh, downloaded that since. So I would suggest you do the same. And then you just download it. It will go to your hard drive. You'll see it down on the corner here as pe uh, test banner GIF. And now you can go to your Google Classroom. And with your Google Classroom, you can upload a photo, select the photo from your computer. You can go to the test banner GIF. It will upload that GIF. You will resize that GIF, okay? And make sure that it covers the entire thing. You'll select the class theme, and then what you'll see is your new, look at that, GIF. How about that? Enjoy. Hope you go. Bye.